Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today, what I want to do is I want to show you the app that I use to keep track of my entire coloring book collection. As you know, I have quite a few, and this app really helps me keep track of what books I have in my collection so that I don't purchase doubles. <laughs> it also is just a really neat app to keep track of everything you have. And it is called Library Thing. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. This is it down in the bottom right hand corner and it has a big L as its symbol. So let's go ahead and bring up this app. I'm going to zoom you back out just a tad. Okay, this is what it looks like when you bring it up. Now, the first time you install this, you're going to have to create a user ID and a password. Okay, after that, you can... Now, I'm going to bring up my catalog, which has all of my books indexed. So you just tap on your catalog. And this is the reason why I didn't show this app before I showed my coloring book collection because I didn't want you to see how many I had. <laughs> so if you tap on all books, it is going to show you all of the books in your collection. Now right now, I have them in ascending order by title. So of course, it's going to bring up the books first that have a number in the title. Now let's say you want to bring them up by, well here, I guess first I'll show you if you want to bring them up instead of just the thumbnail view, you can also bring them up in list view. Let's go back to the thumbnail view. Now you can put them in ascending or descending order. So now it'll bring up my Z's first or let's put it back in ascending. You can also bring it up by author. I typically just leave mine in by title. Now there are a few in the beginning that do not have an author listed, so those are going to be up at the top, but then it will go down like, for instance, this is C.L. Aldridge. It will go by the last name, okay? So let's go back to title. Now again, this app is more designed for those of you who have large reading book collections, but it works great for coloring book collections also. So this is my catalog. Now, if we want to look at, it also lists how many authors you have. So it'll go through and it'll say how many books you have of that particular author. If you look at collections, and here you really will see what I mean by kind of being tailored to those that read a lot. You can have in here currently reading, those you want to read, read but you um, don't own them or read. Maybe you borrowed them, some in your favorites. But what I like about this app, if you notice, what's in my library is different than what is in my collection. And that is because you can also put in your digital books. So for instance, here you can see I have most of the Jade Summers digital books. Um, I do have a couple of other digital um, books that I purchased off of Etsy that I do not have in here yet, and I do have to get them in here. But even adding up my library and digital books does not come, you know, you, you may say, okay, that does not add up to that. These two add up to more. Well, that's because these digital books I also have in paper format, a physical book like all of Jade Summers, because you were allowed to get a digital version of each of the books that you bought when they still had them in their Etsy shop, which is now unfortunately closed down. So let's say we want to search in my catalog. Let's say there's a, a new Alina Lazareva book out there and I can't remember if I really 
bought that one yet. So let's look for Alina. And you really don't have to put in the entire name. Um, just be aware if there's another uh, artist that has a book called Alina, you'll bring up that person's too. But here are the list of the Alina Lazareva books that I have. Now, if we want to look at a particular book, it shows the thumbnail. It is in your library, and your library stands for the books that you have in physical format. If we wanted to change that, let's say, no, I don't have that physical book. I just have it in um, digital format. You can edit this. And you could say, oh, maybe I have it in digital and physical, like a lot of the Jade Summers books. You can have it in both collections, or if you have it just digital, you can show it just digital. Now mine, I do only have a physical copy, so we will keep it at that. You can, you can see here it's by CreateSpace. We kinda knew that. Now it has some links down here. There is a library thing website out on the internet, and that is one thing I'm going to get to at the end of the video. For those of you, probably only a few, that do not have a tablet or a phone to get this app. Now, those of you with Androids, I am doing this all on Apple products, but in June of 2017, the Android uh people did come up with the same app on their platform. So this will all apply for those of you with Android devices. Okay, so let's view it on library thing and it's going to bring up this type of view. When I show you later um, what the website looks like on a computer, it is gonna look like this. You can change the cover, and I will go through those types of things a little bit down the line. But this is what it looks like out on the internet itself. So we'll close that. You can also view it on Amazon, which is where, you know, 90% of our books seem to come from. And it will bring it up on Amazon. Maybe you wanted to see if she had something else out there or what have you. Okay. You can go back to library thing by clicking up here. So that is your catalog. Let's cancel out of there. Let's go to our home button. Now to add, let's say you just got in a new coloring book. You can add to your catalog. The thing that I absolutely love about this app is it will just scan the barcode on typically the back of the book and it will just automatically add it in to your library. So let's see how that works. I got a book here that I know is on Amazon and that is Johanna Basford's Magical Jungle Book. So let's turn it over. We see the barcode is right here. So let's pick up our device. Now, typically I do this with my phone and it works so slick, but it does work on a tablet too. You just click that, you bring it down and you find, and it will automatically add it. Now it told me down here, it is a duplicate copy because I already have this in my uh, library. But if that does happen, let's just say done, it's automatically added into your library. Is that not easy? And like I said, 99% of the time, that's all you're going to have to do. You just hit the barcode, you scan it, and it's added. Easy peasy. Now, because I already know that I have this book in my library already, I don't want it in twice. Maybe it accidentally added it to your digital library and it's not digital, it is a physical book. You could switch it from your library to digital. I'm going to keep it in my library. I hope this isn't shining too much. I uh, have the blinds closed and I turned on my desk light because it was shining too much with the patio door blinds open. But because this is a duplicate, 
I am going to delete it back out. So that's how easy it is to add or delete a book out. So again, there's my catalog. Now let's take a different scenario. This is the easiest by far when the book is on Amazon. It does use a couple of different um, search engines, so it's not just Amazon, but that is where, yeah, 90 to 95% of the books come from. Now, let's say I have a book that I know I did not, let's bring it up over here, that I did not buy on Amazon, and I'm, I'm zoomed in here a little bit, but this is Botanicum. I know I did not get this on Amazon. I bought this from Print Shop, but I'm going to try scanning it and see if it will bring it up. So let's add to my catalog, and let's hit the scan button. We are going to bring up the button, and it says, no books found for the given ISBN. I've already had it happen to me where it said that, but I knew I bought it on Amazon, so I will hit done, and I'm gonna try scanning it once more. And sometimes the second time works. I don't know why, but sometimes it does. In this case, it's not gonna find it on Amazon using this code. So we have to manually enter it, okay? So what we're going to want to do, if you go back home, now I gotta think because there's not, <laughs> I don't have to do it this way too often. Um, we want to go to, no, 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 we don't. Um, oh, in order to add it manually, you have to go to the website itself. So I am going to bring up Safari, and I am going to type in librarything.com. Okay, now... I already am logged in, so I don't have to do that. You may have to log in on yours, and I am going to zoom in. This is a little bit teenier, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I hope I stay in frame here. Okay, so this is library thing on the internet. There are tabs across the top. We want to add a book. So we are going to click on Add Books. Now, you can do a search here. So I am going to search for Botanicum just to see. Okay, and let's go. Now, there are a lot of Botanicum books out there. But, believe it or not, it found the one that I am looking for by Maria Trollet. Let's just click on that to add it. And now it says, recently added Botanicum. So it did find it in one of the other lists. And you can click if you want to search and include Overcat. Library of Congress, um, you know, there are a bunch of other things that you can add to the search engines too, but it did find it and it did add it to my library. Let's go back to the app. I'm going to zoom you back out again. Let's go back to the app. Let's see if it is in there. So, your catalog, let's go to my collection, and let's search for Maria Trollet. Okay, there is my Botanicum book. So, it now is in there. If we click on it, it says Botanicum by Maria Trollet. 
and it gives you information. Again, I have a hard copy of it, so I want it in my library. Okay, that's as easy as that is. If you have to go out on the internet because this book could not be found, you could not scan the ISBN number and have it found, we go out on the internet to librarything.com. Now, let's play another scenario. I know that these books I bought, let's zoom back out. I bought these books on or at Walmart. This is the Designing Colors series by Creative Expression. It is a penny press book. I know that these are not on Amazon. So let's try it scanning this code. So we are going to add to catalog. We are going to hit the barcode and we are going to scan and it is not gonna find it. Like I said, many times I will scan twice, but I know this particular book is not on Amazon. So we will hit done. We will again go to Safari. Let me put it down. And a library thing is up because we just had it up in Safari. Zoom me back in a little. Okay, so we are going to want to add a book again. Let's back back out. Come on. Botanicum, and we will put in designing colors. And we will search. Sometimes it may come up in here. Sometimes it may not. Here is a Designing Colors Volume 11. I'm not sure why that's in there, but let's click on it. And let's open it up. Okay, yes, it is the magazine, but it is Volume 11. We have Volume 2 here. So we are going to want to edit the book, which is over on the left-hand side. We are going to switch volume 11 to volume two. The rest of it, tags or, you know, what have you. If you wanna put tags in, I don't worry about tags. Um, it technically is a magazine, so maybe you would wanna put magazine in there. Um, maybe you want to put penny press or creative expression, you know, things like that in, but you don't have to. Now I have a physical book, so I want it in my library. Maybe you just wanted it in digital or on your wish list or, you know, what have you. I'm going to take those back off because it is in my library. Okay. So now we have it added. The most important thing to remember is to hit save when you are done editing. And you're like, well, wait a minute. It's got the wrong cover. And yes, it does have the wrong cover. So over on the left-hand side again, and again, I'm not sure if you can see this. Maybe I'll zoom in one more. Over on the left-hand side, it says change cover. Let's click on that. Now, you can pick one of these generic covers down here, but we don't want that. <laughs> okay, we want to choose our file. And you have the option of taking a photo. Okay, so now what you'll do, and I'm going to bring this up. It's going to be hard for you to see, but I'm going to bring it up here, and I am going to take a photo. Now, I'm not going to do this real well, just because I'm kind of in a hurry. <laughs> and now we like that picture. We're going to use photo. 
which is down in the lower right hand corner. Okay, so use the photo. And then we click upload. And it takes a little bit. It, it's working on it. Okay, now, if you see, because of the way that I um, took the picture, it took it landscape. So we don't want it looking like that. Or maybe when we took the picture, we uh, didn't like how it looked. We wanted to crop it a little bit. So rather than putting the cover in on the website itself, let's go back to the app. Open up the app. So we're going to look for the designing color book that we just put in. So we'll do a search for designing colors. And, okay, this isn't searching mine. My catalog designing colors. Okay, here are all my designing colors books. Now we can see this one right here is the one we don't like the picture of. Let's click on that and click on this so that we can edit it. You see this little camera with the plus sign on it? That means you can take a picture again. So let's go ahead and take this picture again. Again, it's not going to come out the best here, but because I am doing it this way, it works much easier on the phone. Okay, now when you take a picture, you have the option of cropping it. So we're going to crop it up maybe over a little and down. Okay, let's say that's how we want our cover to look. Then we're just gonna click OK. And it is going to upload that cover. And voila, there is our cover to the book that we just manually entered. So again, it's much easier to add the cover in the app than it is out on librarything.com because here you can edit after you take the picture. Over on librarything.com, you can't, okay? So because I already have this book in here, I don't want it again, I am just going to delete it. Okay, so those were three scenarios where um, you had the book already out on Amazon. All you did was you scanned the ISBN number. Boom, there it was. You click Done, and it's in your library. Then we did Botanicum, where it did not find it with scanning. So we went out on the Internet to LibraryThing.com. We searched for the book, and it did find it. So then we just had to add it that way. This scenario it was not in the library, but there was one similar to it that we could edit and change the title, change the cover of the book. Now let's take the last scenario. This is the Coloring Studio, which is actually a magazine. And I don't know if you guys watch Dee Dee Willingham. She gets these all the time. I typically don't. I wanted to get this one because it had an interview with Johanna Basford. So I bought this one. If you look inside, this one is from summer of 2016. Okay. It is by Stampington and Company. Um, but it is Somerset Studios. So... We'll kind of remember that. Now, let's say we go home. We want to add to our catalog. And the ISBN number is down here. So we're going to hit our scan button. We are going to attempt to scan it. And of course, it says no, no books found for that. So we're going to hit done. 
Now we're going to have to go back out on the internet because we manually have to add this book. We'll go back to Safari. Again, library thing is automatically up because we were just in it. Otherwise, you would just type in librarything.com. And we want to, again, add a book. Okay, so we will click up at the top, Add Books. Now, we are going to do a search for the Coloring Studio. And let's look. Now, over on the right-hand side, it is going to bring up books that are similar to that particular name. It has over a thousand results, so you can click next and you can keep looking. However, I know <laughs> it is not in this list. So let's, no, oh, didn't mean to hit that. Let's go and we're going to add this book manually down here on the bottom left-hand corner under other options is add manually. So we are going to this time manually add a book. And again, this doesn't happen real often, but let's type in the coloring studio. And maybe we would want to put in um, summer to whoop, 2016. Then we'll know exactly which edition it is. Author, let's put in Summer Studio. Somerset Studio, sorry. Okay, if you want to put in tags, you can. I typically don't. Um, maybe again, you want to put in magazine. Um, maybe because Johanna Bassford's in here, you want to put her in. But you don't have to put tags in. Totally up to you. I do not worry about any of the rest of this. Again, a lot of that is going to pertain to if it is a book um, to read, not necessarily a coloring book. So, again, we are going to want to save this after we add in any information. You always want to save it. Okay, so it says recently added. Let's click on it. And we're going to look at it. Now, again, it gives us just the generic default cover. You can pick, um, if we uh, look at this, there are some of those other generic ones. Let's change the cover like we did previously. And it is going to bring up these other generic ones. We don't want that. We want what our coloring book looks like. So, again, we are going to choose File. We're going to take the photo. Let's go ahead. And this is going to look strange to you because I am up near the camera to take this picture. <laughs> okay, let's take that. Okay, let's say that's what we want. So let's use that photo. And, oh yeah, we need to upload it. Again, this part takes a little bit of time. Okay, here again, as you can see, it put it landscape. So before you even bother with uploading it on here, your best move is to come back out of here, go back into the app, just like I showed you last time. So we are back in the app itself. Let's go to our catalog and let's do a search for the coloring studio. Oh, and again, it is searching out on the internet. So your catalog, the coloring 
Studio. Okay, now we have mine that I already had in my library, but let's pretend that wasn't in there. This is the one that we want to change the color or the cover on. So let's go ahead and click on it. And then to edit it, you just tap on that. Again, we can take a picture in the app itself, which works out so much better because you can edit it. So again, I'm going to take a picture and I want to crop it a little bit. That looks good, so we'll click OK and it will upload it to the app. And there we go. So if we go back to all books, we can see there are now two of them. I don't want this one, so I'm going to just delete it out. So those are a couple of scenarios that you may run into when adding books to this app. Again, the last couple scenarios are not going to happen that often. The vast majority of the time, you are just going to add it to your catalog, hit this barcode, you're going to, excuse me, you're going to scan the barcode on the back of the book usually. Once in a while, they're on the front, and it just automatically pops in. Okay, easy peasy. Now, the last scenario that I'm going to show you is for the few of you who do not have a phone, you do not have a tablet, so you have to do this out on the internet. Uh, this gets a little bit more involved when you want to upload the cover of a book that is not found in the library, like it's not found on Amazon, and you have to manually enter things in. But I am going to go through those steps because for those of you do, who have to do this on a laptop or a computer, um, and you have to go to librarythings.com, you may run across a scenario where a book is not found, and you do have to enter it manually. So I'm going to show you a couple of steps you can take to change the cover of that book. Now, again, don't let this uh, frustrate you or, you know, this is will not have to be done very often. I just kind of wanted to put it out there for those of you who may run across this scenario, okay? So I am gonna switch over to my laptop screen and I will be right back. Okay, I have my computer screen up. We are going to go to the internet and we are going to bring up library thing and mine pops up already, but librarything.com. Now this probably looks a little familiar. This is what it looks like when we brought it up on Safari on my iPad. Now, let's say we wanted to add, again, we're going to first add Magical Jungle by Johanna Basford. So, add books to your library. Now, we are going to do the search because we cannot scan by the ISBN number. So, we are just going to look up Magical Jungle. And here it pops up, right up here. All you have to do is click on it. And now it added. Here it's telling me there is a duplicate. So once we are done with the scenarios that I'm going to go through on the laptop, I am going to go back to my iPad and we will bring them up and we will go ahead and delete them out. Okay, so that one has been added. Now, the next scenario was Botanicum. So let's bring up Botanicum. And let's search for that. Again, there's gonna be a lot of different Botanicum books out there, but here it is, Botanicum by Maria Trollet. And let's click on that. 
it is added again it shows it is a duplicate so we will be again taking those back out now let's go through the scenario of designing colors because we know those are not out on Amazon so let's do designing colors okay so here are all the books that have that in here is that one that we found that was there's a couple volumes in here here's volume 10 here's volume 11 let's go ahead and click this volume 10 I don't believe volume 2 when I searched it in the past volume 2 was not in there so here it added volume 10 but we know we want to edit it so I think you can either click on the title or over here on the right hand side is edit book and here we can edit it and say no we want volume 2 again if you want to put a tag in here you can put magazine you could put creative expression and maybe you would want to put penny press whoops wow Lisa I can't type this morning okay so maybe you want to put a few tags in there many times I don't even worry about it um, so everything looks good except for the cover so we're going to go over here again and change the cover and we are going to want to browse now you need to have a picture of that particular cover on your computer screen to add it okay so we don't have a cover we are going to have to go out whoops on the internet we are going to have to do a search for designing colors and we are going to have to find a picture of it let's do designing colors um creative expression now oh, here we go that's what we wanted okay we want to find volume 2 this is it otherwise you can go and select volume nope <laughs> Well, that is volume two. Let's view the image. Okay, I am now going to do a print screen of this. If you click your button, it's usually up in the upper right hand corner on your keyboard. So I just clicked on that. We'll minimize that. Now, most computers have some type of a paint program mine has paint 3d so we're going to bring that up we're going to say new then i just right click and i paste brings up this which we just just took a screen print of now we want to crop all this other stuff out so we will crop this down and this now again this is only for those instances where the particular book is not found and you're on just a computer you don't have to do all this if you are doing it on a tablet or a phone when you are done click done and let's see if that is what we want yeah that looks pretty good so we are going to go and we are going to save it <coughs> sorry about that i will save it to my desktop oh i gotta get a drink <laughs> oh so sorry okay let's call this designing colors volume two Okay, that saved it out onto my desktop. 
Now, if we go back into, we don't need that any longer, we go back into here, we can now browse, and we will browse our desktop. Here is our image. So we'll double click that. <coughs> Sorry, I have such a tickle in my throat. Okay, now we have the correct cover on our magazine, on our book. Okay, now the same, <coughs> oh my gosh, I really got tickle in my throat. The same scenario would be true if we wanted to add that last book, and that is the Coloring Studio. So let's go through it one more time, how you would get your own uh, cover art for this particular book. So let's go ahead though and see if the Coloring Studio is out there. Again, I know that it isn't, so we're not gonna go any farther. Otherwise you could go next and you could keep searching. Um, but it is not in here, so we are going to scroll down here, add manually. So the title is The Coloring, boy, let's get this out of here, The Coloring Studio, and again, we're going to put in, was it December or fall? I have to look. Uh, summer 2016. Well, I was way off on that, wasn't I? 2016 author I think I'm going to put in Somerset like what we did last time Somerset studio again you can put in any tags you want um, maybe that um, Stampington and company why don't we put that in Any other tags that you want to put in. Last time we put in Johanna Spassford because she was in the book. Okay, we want it in our library because we have a physical copy of it. We don't want it in our digital library. And then again, remember to hit save. It is not going to have a cover at this point other than the generic one so we are going to want to edit this just click on it or on the right hand side uh, it says edit book and again it has the generic book cover we want to change that now we do not have again a picture to select on our laptop to upload. So we are going to have to go out and again find a picture of this particular book or in this case magazine. So we're going to look for the coloring studio. Um, yeah let's type in what was that summer 2016? I have a good memory but it's short. <laughs> Yeah, summer 2016. And let's see what comes up. Yep, it's by Stampington and Company. So that should be the book we're looking for. And yes, that is it. Let's do a print screen again. So it's saved in memory right now. Let's bring up our paint program again. Or whatever, if you have MS Word, you can do it in there too, but um, you, it would have to be saved as an image. And that's why it just works so much better using a uh, paint or imaging type of program. So we again are going to have a new, um, start a new project. And I'm just going to paste it in here by right clicking. And we again want to crop this so that we just have the image that we want. Whoops, we want to bring that down a little more. And bring this side in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep, that looks great. So we are going to then 
save it. Again, I'm going to save it on my desktop just because that's the easiest place to look. And we will go the coloring studio summer 2016 and save. Okay, we have that picture saved. Let's go back. We don't need this open anymore. Let's go back in here. Now we can browse for that picture. Again, it is on our desktop. And not the designing colors. We want the Coloring Studio Summer 2016. So let's click on that and upload. And there it is. So, and I'm going to repeat the fact that you typically are not going to have to go through all these steps of finding the picture out on the internet and print screening it and cropping it in a paint program. I just wanted to again show you for those of you that have to do this on a computer. Um, it is much easier to do on a mobile device. But I did want to show you um, how to do it this way also. So now we can look at our books. And in here now on the laptop version or the computer version, you can see right now it is in alphabetical order. And the books with the numbers are coming up first. We can also go into our digital library and here are my digital books just like on the app on your mobile device. Let's go into all collections. Here it's 904. This shows all digital and hard copy. So let's go back to my hard copy books. Um, you can list them this way um, by title. So it'll be in alphabetical order by title or you can also do it by author. Um, you can switch up a bunch of things in here. Um, let's go back to um, title. Let's just, just list them by title. Okay, so I think basically that's what I had to show you. What I want to do now is go back to the iPad and we're going to delete out these books that we added in and uh, because now they're duplicates. So I will switch back to the iPad view and I will be right back. Okay, we are back on my iPad. And I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I just wanted to bring back up library thing and show you now that those we added on the computer are in fact saved in our account. So we want to go to our catalog let me zoom you in a little bit. And we are going to, I'm sorry if this flashes out at all, but uh, hopefully you can see well enough to see what I am doing. And let's just delete out a couple of these duplicates. Let's look for um, Magical Jungle. And search. And we can see there are two of them in here. Because they are identical, you can see this one. It is in my library, so I know it's a physical copy. And then this one. So they are identical. It doesn't matter which one I delete, but I am going to go ahead and hit the delete button. And yes, I want to delete that particular book. So let's go ahead and delete one more. Let's look for Botanicum. Here I have two of the Botanicum books by Maria Trollet. Again, they are identical. Because we added them in the same way, we didn't add any cover artwork. Um, because it found it in the app. So again, we can delete either one of these. I will delete this one and hit delete. Okay, so there you have it. I just wanted to show you that, yes, in fact, those that we added on the laptop at libraryThing.com 
are added to your catalog and they will be in the app version also in the library thing app so i hope you enjoyed this little how-to video that uh, kind of would give you an idea of how i keep track of all my coloring books that way if i see on a, a youtube channel a color tube channel where they're doing flip flips of some uh, books that they got during a month or somebody's doing a color and chat and you're like oh i really like that book first thing you should do especially if you have a larger collection go into your library thing app and see if you already have it now for the most part i pretty much know what books i have and what i don't however once you get into like my mandala books and my um design pattern type books those are the ones I have the most of, so periodically I may not remember every single book I have, and I have ordered some duplicates in the past, <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one. So there you have it. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and hit that bell so you know when I put up additional videos. I hope everybody is having a terrific day. Today is Friday when I am recording this, so it is almost the weekend. Yay! For those of us who don't work on the weekends, that is. So I hope you have a great weekend. And, and as always, happy coloring.